we're given a of x equals the integral of f of t from zero to x, where f of t is graphed below. We want to find a of five and a of nine. So for a of five, we'll substitute five for x, giving us the def integral of f of t from zero to five. And therefore a of nine would be the integral of f of t from zero to nine. We can evaluate these definite integrals by determining the area bounded by the function on the x-axis. As long as you view the area above the x-axis as a positive value and the area below the x-axis as a negative value. So for our first integral, we want to determine the area bounded by the function on the x-axis over the closed interval from zero to five over this interval here. Which means we want to determine the area of this shaded region here. Notice over this interval, all the area is above the x-axis. So let's call this a sub one and determine the area. We could use a geometric formula, but I think in this case we can just count the number of squares. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full squares and two half squares. So a sub one would be equal to eight square units. And again, because all the area is above the x-axis, that means the value of this def integral from zero to five is equal to positive eight. Next we have the integral of f of t from zero to nine. So now we'll consider the area bounded by the function and the x-axis over the interval from zero all the way to positive nine. Which means now we also have to consider this area here that's below the x-axis. Let's call this a sub two to keep things organized. Again, we can determine the area here just by counting the squares. We have two full squares, and these two pieces here on the left would make up one full square, giving us an area of three square units. But again, because this area is above the x-axis, we consider this a positive value for the def integral. But this area here is below the x-axis, where the function values are negative, and therefore, over this interval, the def integral would be negative which means the integral of f of t from zero to nine would be equal to positive eight and then plus a negative three or just minus three, which would give us five. I hope you found this helpful.